majority of cases, type 2 diabetes is a lifestyle disease. I had a feel like diabetes anyway, because I had signs. I wasn't sleeping so good, and um, I was tired all the time. And, uh, and when you're tired, you're, you're, you're eating the wrong foods anyway. But um, I just, I knew that I had two brothers and a sister with diabetes, and I just said I was not going to go testing myself every other. That drove me mad, and I said I wouldn't do it. But I know it's my, I get a cut on the farm. I get the easy when you're on a farm stuck, you know, and um, they weren't healing. So that's, that was the, the catalyst that made me decide. And then my sister said, oh, your, your blood sugars are worse than mine. And that was it. I decided to contact you. So I haven't looked back. I kept doing the, the, the diet from, from, I would get a call from um, one of your uh, ladies and because uh, you did the diet through Zoom all I the did, week. yeah, yeah. every week they would call me and uh, I'd measure my waist and I would stand on the scales. I used the same scales the same all the time so that they were accurate and the belt kept going in. I, another notch on my belt I would go in and yeah, it was a good How much time. did you lose over the lockdown? I lost three stone three pounds. Wow. In total, yeah. And my Facebook bottom is the way is simple, but the crooked path is more popular. And this is me. Um, it took me a long time, 58 years, to get to this stage in my life where I'm starting to look after myself. Um, I have a history of cancer in the family. I lost two sisters to breast cancer. I had another sister diagnosed. She's in remission. Uh, all my father's side all the way through. Uh, aunts, grandmothers, cousins have had breast cancer or cancer in some shape, way or form. And I know that being overweight. Uh, will leave you predisposed to getting cancer. So I said, uh, at the start of COVID last year, I'm going to do something about this because uh, I had been pre-diabetic in 2015. I had been told I was diabetic in 2017, but I said, I'll sort this all out. I'll go walking, I'll exercise, I'll eat properly, I'll stop drinking, I'll stop, uh, I had stopped smoking, I'll stop eating sweets. And never did anything to the last year when the fear of COVID caught up with us. We were all saying, Jesus, I'm, I'm fat, I'm going to get cold and I'll be dead and my kids will be crying about me. And I said, I better do something. So I started walking and I walked inside the two kilometres, inside the five kilometres when I could and kept walking all the way through the first five months of lockdown. And a friend of mine, Mark Kelly and Ennis, who uh, used to fly rescue choppers for the Irish Coast Guard, uh, rescue woman five out of Shannon, he got inspiration from me because he, he hadn't been flying for years. And to keep his license up, he had to be a certain weight, and he'd let that go because he wasn't flying. So he got inspiration to see me walk, and he started walking. And uh, then he, he heard about Dr. Ava, and went to see uh, Mona and Isolde in, in Galway, in the Armour Clinic. And he did the Orsman diet and lost 29 kilos in 12 weeks. He lost 29 kilos. And uh, he inspired me. I had got uh, shingles last October. And it literally, excuse the pun, knocked the legs off from under me. I lost all my energy. Uh, the little bit of weight that I had walked off me crept back on very quickly. Uh, I hadn't changed my lifestyle. I was still eating buckets of pasta, pounds of potatoes, bags of sweets when I was driving to Dublin in the car. I'd eat two bags of sweets. I'd drink a can of Coke. I'd eat more sweets when I got there. And on the way back down again, I'm a freelancer. I'm up and down to Dublin all the time from Clare. But, uh, after I got over the, the shingles, I looked at Mark Kelly and I said, we chatted and I said, I need to do something about myself. So in June, I rang uh, Lockingstown, I, I did a phone consult and then I went to Galway and started with Isolde. And uh, after 14 weeks, I'm now down four stone, or as I say, 29 bags of sugar. I'm not carrying around with me anymore, they're gone. And, they, <laughs> and the inspiration is it's going to stay off. I have changed my whole attitude to food. I do not, and I was talking to a man earlier on, Jim, that was here, he said uh, it's, mortal, it's a mortal sin the way the shops have all the sweets lined up at the tills, mm -hmm. and I now can just walk past them and not pick them up. I don't eat the cream donuts anymore. In, in Portugal, where I live, there's uh, custard donuts, bottled de Berlin, they are heavenly, but I don't eat them anymore. So the thing is that the, the diet worked, it worked for me, and if I can inspire somebody else here today to take it up, uh, I sleep better. But the most important thing is that my uh, diabetes type 2 has been reversed. Yeah, I started only in, I remember the date, the 14th of September. So I'm only, what, two months nearly into it. 
I um, tried to come off my medication myself and it didn't work so my doctor got my bloods in September and he said Hayley you're up high again off you go to the doctor off you go with the medication and I said no I don't want the medication so I got in touch with yourself and I had no energy before this I used to sit on the couch um, and then eat and no energy very um, uncomfortable with my tummy all the time irritable bowel so when I went to Ava I started the diet and I can't, I mean, I'm two months into it and I've lost a stone and a half, I think. Mm -hmm. And I just have so much energy. And it's fa and the fact that it was fast is brilliant. And I can't remember what I said, Chunifa. What was I saying? You just say, what about the sugars? The sugars are where, what was I, 57, now 50 HB. So they're going down very quickly. And I, I find the diet great because you can have your snacks. I can have, you can have crisps protein crisps, which I love at night, or I can have a chocolate, which is, I know it's not proper chocolate, but they're pretty tasty. <laughs> nice though. And I, I, I look forward to that. I look, do what I have the Smarties, do the Smarties, my daughter loves them, we need to share a pack. So, I mean, I have, like that, I used to sit around doing nothing all day and getting very low, but the energy that I have now is, I don't sit down at all really. My wife is counting her blessings since I went on this diet, because I snored like a train in the bed and uh, I, had, I used to wake up myself in the middle of the night with sleep apnea. I'm looking at you because I know that you're really all the time. And she now checks me to see am I still alive because I'm so quiet in the bed. And that's the one thing the diet has done is taken away the snore, taken away the sleep apnea. A lot of it's to do with the weight and maybe uh, Ava might explain that. But like I am now sleeping a lot better, I have a lot more energy and I do not snore a fifth of the amount I was, which is great. Like maybe when I'm exhausted I do, but normally uh, she's checking me at night and seeing myself alive because I'm so silent in the bed. Unfortunately many of us we get used to slowly losing the energy, you know, and thinking that that is just the way life is going because I'm few years older and and, and we get we adapt to the situation instead of saying actually I want more from life, I want better quality of life. And it's to find that motivation and that commitment. Um, and I just hope that these stories has inspired you to take that challenge.